It's been a long day of travel for the Islanders men's basketball team who will once again be playing in the first four in Dayton, Ohio. It's also been a long day for sports director Chris Thomason, who is with the team at the University of Dayton. He joins us live now. Hey there, Chris. Hey there, Leslie, Rudy. Good evening, Coastal Bend. Yeah, it is a very chilly night here in Dayton. Current feel like temperature about 21 degrees. It's been snowing all day. Luckily, I think someone's looking out for me because I did stop just in time for the live shot. Now, the Islanders didn't seem to mind the travel here to Dayton today for a couple reasons. One, their travel day today wasn't nearly as bad as it was last year here to Dayton. And two, they know they're going to be playing for their season tomorrow night on national TV in the big dance. Many thought the back-to-back -back Southland champion Islanders should have and would avoid the first four here in Dayton and head straight to the March Madness round of 64. But Texas A&M Corpus Christi coach Steve Lutz didn't want to mince too many words on the subject at the press conference. He's just glad his team is dancing. Like if you're complaining about coming to Dayton in the first four, you're messed up in my book. <laughs> now, and I'm not trying to be whatever. Um, we're in the NCAA tournament. Like who's complaining? You don't about going to the NCAA tournament. There's a lot of teams sitting at home right now. There's a lot of teams playing in, in other tournaments that would trade in a heartbeat. You know, last year you kind of come in as like a freshman in college and you kind of eyed open, like eyes wide open to everything. So this year we already been here, we've seen everything. So now we just focused on the game really. One Islander who will not be on the court Tuesday is star point guard Terion Murdix, who suffered a season-ending knee injury in the Southland Tournament. Even though Murdix didn't want to speak on camera after getting a bit emotional, his coach and his teammates say they're dedicating this first four performance to him. Um, when they brought Terion back from the hospital and those guys ran out to meet him at his car and... Um, and tell him how much they loved him and, and, and missed him and how awful they felt for him. And then to have him, you know, wait for him to cut down the net, I mean, it just, uh, it just, it should warm everybody's heart. Terrian is like a big loss for us, but we all want to do it for him, you know. He's one of our players, our brothers, so we're ready to win that game tomorrow for him. Now the Islanders will be taking on Southeast Missouri State. They are making their first appearance in the tournament in 23 years, similar to the Islanders last year. That game at 540 Corpus time, not Eastern time here, Corpus time, 540 on True TV. Reporting live from the University of Dayton in Dayton, Ohio, Chris Thomason, 3 News. Back over to you. I'm going to go get warm.